Hey everybody, this is DM Mike, and this is the next thing that I use for Dungeons & Dragons. Today I'm going to talk about something I think all of us actually already have, uh, but maybe just never really quite thought to use it in our Dungeons & Dragons campaign. Now this is geared towards a DM who's running a digital campaign. In other words, you're kind of, you know, you at least have a TV up or something, and that's how you're running your visuals or maybe your digital tabletop. And that is Google Slides. Now here's the two ways that I use Google Slides. I'll put an example up here. Here's one, I do this for every campaign. I just have a huge project that is nothing but images. This is Google Slides is a great way to present your images of your locations and your NPCs. It's a fantastic way of doing this. And you can break it down by session, by, by your sessions, by your locations. Uh, I think my uh, Rise of Tiamat one is like 60 uh, slides long. Right now, Dragon's of Ice Power Peak is hitting about 20 or so, not no, nowhere near the scope of my larger campaigns. But uh, I use it constantly in every single campaign. So it's a great way of showing magical items, uh, locations, and you know NPCs or anything, even monsters, things you want you know your players to see, so everybody's kind of on the same page. Now, a second use for these, I use this sparingly because it is a lot of work, is choose your own adventure. Now, in Rise of Tiamat and Horde of the Dragon Queen, I think in each one of those campaigns, I only had two, two in Rise and two of Horde of the Dragon Queen, because it is a lot of work. You got to create the questions. You got to come up with the scenarios and then you got to have two or three uh, or, or, or the question and four outcomes or four possible locations or maybe, th or, I'm sorry, four or three possible um, choices for people to choose from. And then you got to have all the answers, you know, the outcomes to all those questions. So it can get busy really, really quick. And I encourage you, if you want to do that, just do it once, you know, pick it towards a larger campaign where you have maybe hopefully a little more time and you're going to do bigger and grander things. Uh, I've got only, like I said, I've only got like four of these. Uh, I wasn't, I've thought about doing it for my smaller campaigns like Dragon's Vice Power Peak, but I decided not to do it. I want to keep it as a bonus for bigger, larger campaigns. But it's the most tedious out of both, of two different ways of doing this, right? Uh, but they can be a lot of fun at the table to have people just kind of choose what they want to do, a direction they want to go as a group. Sometimes I do get an individual rarely but i'll aim it right towards somebody who may be in the last sessions in a precarious situation so you can pick and choose what you want to do but it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun one tip i have though if you're going to do the slides just a, a typical slide presentation limit yourself to how many pictures you're going to have on there especially for a location because sometimes you can find some great concept art for a castle but then that's it you're only, you're only going to find one great concept art because most concept artists are you know designing something and they give they kind of give a quick landscape drawing and that's it there's nothing else to really pair it with so you can drive yourself insane going on pinterest and google and just trying to find something that matches with your initial concept so i limit myself to three tops three three images for a location is max for me anything more than that is just insane unless you get lucky and you find a conceptual artist who's fleshed out a bunch of stuff but in most cases you're gonna find that, oh, that mountaintop castle looks great, but that's all there is. And if that is, that's good, that's all you need, right? Just stick with that image and pop it on your slide and get on to the next location, right? Because it, it can drive you crazy. So hopefully this helps you guys in running your digital campaigns. It's a great way of doing it. I mean, you get, don't even have to use a choose your own adventure, just stick with the images and that'll just bring your campaign to life big time for your players. And it kind of helps keep everybody on the same page and they understand exactly where they are and how things look. All right, guys, that's it. See you the next one.